What up, mobsters? I'm back. Episode 6. It's going to be another quick one. Uh, I'm doing some fish tacos tonight. Doing a uh, red snapper with some Cajun seasoning. It's going to be pretty fire. I'm not going to waste any time. Let's go straight to the kitchen, alright? Alright, I'm back. Um, while my fish is defrosting, I bought the pre cook. Uh, so you just got to drop in a little glass of water. Uh, it takes about 15 minutes to defrost. While that is the frost and I have my rice simmering. So what I like to do with my rice is, um, so I made this rice yesterday. A lot of times when I'm doing tacos, I'll have rice from the day before. And then I let it simmer the next day and half water, half lemon juice if I'm doing tacos or if I'm just feeling that flavoring. Um, that is really good. I highly suggest that. So I found a recipe I like. Um, for the Cajun seasoning, so it calls for two teaspoons of paprika, which I don't have, so I'm going to substitute chili powder, which I do often, instead of the paprika. So they're calling for two teaspoons. I don't have that much meat, so I'm just going to do like basically half of everything. So I did a teaspoon and a half. And then I need two teaspoons of onion powder. I must do a teaspoon and a half. That's pretty good. Uh, I need a teaspoon and a half of salt. That's good. Uh, one teaspoon of thyme, which I don't think I have. No, I don't. So I'm going to use some cilantro. I think that's what I did last time. And it was pretty good. Half a teaspoon of pepper. Half a teaspoon of oregano. And then my favorite, which I'm not doing half, I'm doing a full teaspoon. Cayenne pepper. All of that stuff. Really gets me sweating. Right, let's get this going. All right, that looks good. We'll have our fish going on here shortly. All right, my fillet is ready to go. I'm ready to batter this thing up with our seasoning. And I'm just gonna lay it on the top half. Knock off any of the loose ends. Make sure it's nice and covered. Get 
Now fish is going to cook quick, especially since it's already pre-cooked. I got my veggies ready, onions, peppers, garlic. Everything's about to go in to the pan and we can get this thing going. All right, my fish is looking pretty good so far. I just flipped it. I got the veggies going with it. This said about medium. Probably a little bit longer. Rice looks good too. Once the fish looks decent, I'm gonna pull it, shred it up, throw the rice in with the veggies and the fish, and then I'm gonna do my tortillas. All right? All right, time for my tortillas. I've done this before, but just a reminder, because this is, this just takes tacos to the next level. And I know you're thinking, well, tacos are already amazing as it is, but it's the attention to the details that is the most important thing, especially when it comes to cooking and tacos. So I threw a little oil in the pan, a little bit of lime juice. Pepper. And a little butter. Spread that around. And then drop your tortilla in. And that is taking the taco to the next level. Alright, my tortilla is boiling up a little bit, so let's see what the base looks like. Oh, that looks good. Now, if you like them crispier, then you're just going to let this side sit a little bit longer. This is nice and, and sturdy. So this thing is almost ready to come off. Because that's how I like them, not too crispy. But not too soft, kind of like a blend. All right, I'm ready to go. I'm hungry. Let's put these tacos together. It smells so good. One thing I like about red snipers is it's not. It doesn't smell fishy, so your apartment's not gonna reek. And I think it's the best taste of fish. Got some avocados, throw that in there. Got some salsa. And then, to make it look pretty, some blue chip crunch. And a little hot sauce while we're at it. Well, it's about that time. Let's eat.